Okay, I'm back. And like I said, I will read off all of Anderson's things really quick, just so because some of people were like, "Oh, why didn't you listen to those?" No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. So we're gonna listen to all of them. And that heavy breathing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens. Aliens. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe, now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were. About to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something. Keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Huh? Scared the Torian shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. That was a long voice clip. Contact. A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Yeah, I punched you. Twice. Look at those lens flares. Sounds a little bit like the SAS testing. You seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the <laughs> That'd be awesome if he punched her. <laughs> he gets mad like, I don't know if you're disingenuous insertions. changes. Good leader can make an okay squad great. 
Man, this is a long interview. Shepherd's nose disappear. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The Thank you. The center of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. Back forth, back forth, back forth, back forth. Thanks for listening. There wasn't anything else on there. So, should I keep reading all these? Because I don't want you guys to get bored. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to keep going. What was I talking about? Early days, right? People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's never the whole truth. Never the whole it's truth. <laughs> it's gnarled and I'd start running. Get the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. What? Oh, okay, that was actually a pretty quick one. Is that all the ones in here, I believe? I'll go out here and read the rest of them. Actually, pretty interesting. I really like, like, I've said this before, but Keith David's one of my favorite actors, voice and otherwise. He's a pretty good actor. Did I already listen to this one? I don't think I listened to this whole thing. That's a nice kitchen. Look at him, he's like, yeah. Yeah. I just got my ego boosted up. <laughs> my confidence and ego. I don't think there's one in here. I just wanted to double check. Okay. I, have your new questions here. As a leader, I think this is just all the interview. Lens flare. Lens flare. Lens flare. He changed the fate of the galaxy. He was right. He was right. Okay, you see? You see? He took a chance. He defied the man. And it worked out. It worked out. Doesn't always work out, but it worked out. You never asked me about this, but my wife just called. My ex-wife. Um, I think I already listened to this. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. But 
it's not even about military and non-military, damn it. It's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. Yeah, I think I already listened to that one. Whoops. I'm pretty sure... I used that one. Yeah, I did do that one. If I didn't, let me know. I'll go back to it. I think there's one more in here I never listened to. Embarrassing moments? Oh, no. I've already listened to this one. If you had to pick one to share, out. I'm, I, wanna, I think I already heard that new track. From London. The last of three children born to Ursula and Paul Anderson. A nurse and a flight mechanic, respectively. But that's a little dry. And someone's gonna spice this up, right? Never been much for the spotlight. Anyway, where was I? It was a second marriage for my parents. They were almost fifty by the time they fifty? Okay, there we go. There's Anderson's childhood. Turing experience. He's probably going to talk about Saren. Turian. Turian. 